guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Zero Shiro James for those who don't know me uh, I do lifestyle vlogs travel vlogs and uh, the latest I'm a new mom I'm super excited of going with go uh, taking up this journey of motherhood I'm super 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 excited uh, I'm a mother to a baby boy I live recently gave birth to a, a baby boy and uh, from the title of this video as you can see i've titled it uh, labor and birth story so i'm going to give my story of how i went to labor and i gave birth to that beautiful boy uh, as you can see from the background i'm outside i'm at my home village in Rimuru. i came to my mom's place Kuhu Helio. Those who don't know Kikuyu, <laughs> Koyo Herio, it's a, uh, when you give birth in our culture, you have to go to your mother or your mother-in-law, they cook for you, they do, they do everything for you, basically they do everything for you, ndio, upatenguvu, unapikiwa njahe, mokimo, izo vitu, you know, like, things that will make you get, regain back the energy that you lost when you, giving birth because giving birth guys it's not just a walk in the park you have to use so much energy mm. sorry guys <laughs> there are some picky picky guys passing by i'm sorry about that anyway so let's continue so i'm going to start how i got into labor or how it happened what happened is like this i my due date came and passed i waited for five days and nothing happened waited for another five days nothing happened then the 11th day came and then the 12th day i was like wow this is too much i may be risking my baby for taking so long because okay the baby was playing in the stomach but in the womb actually not the stomach guys in the womb <laughs> my baby was playing i could feel him but i was a bit worried because i don't know what was happening i was not getting a labor even any sign of labor only one time that i got uh, some blood when i went to pool and i thought oh labor is coming i waited and nothing happened so on the 12th day i decided in the morning before the end the job i passed by the hospital and uh, do a general checkup of what is happening so i carried my handbag my heels and nee, 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 nee. i went to the hospital as I, I knew it was something that will take me like about five minutes then or ten minutes or thirty minutes then i'll be back to the office because i didn't want to take my leave before i knew when or before i get the baby i wanted to work till the last minute so that i can prolong my leave days so i went to the hospital i queued there was no not that long queue i queued Alafu, ikafika tani yangu, you go to the triage, tri I don't know if it's triage or triage or whatever, however you pronounce it, that place, where they take your blood pressure, your height, your weight, evil, those things. Then after that, I went to the, what do we call them, not the gynecologist, uh, that maternity part of the ward, because I was not going in, it was like a private hospital, but like a small one, not those huge big hospitals so i didn't have my personal gynecologist or midwife no i was just going to the hospital for the general thing so me up on kaenda ni kaingia hapo you know the way they you go and you lie on that katebo wanafinya tumbo wanaangalia everything is okay nini hatbiti ya mtoto nini then they asked me uh, because i was supposed to have gone back to the hospital like a week uh, earlier but i didn't i was like i'll wait for the baby to come so and i was like uh, i was waiting so that i can know i can get labor and then come di directly to the hospital the nurse was like no you should have come for a checkup last week so that we know uh, how much time we'll give you before the labor comes or we just check the baby they checked me and th everything was okay and i told her I had bled a little bit then she was like uh, sometimes it happens but she told me uh, you have to do a scan so that we are sure your baby is 
okay and everything is fine i was like why why is she telling me to do a scan because i'm past due date or what i asked and she told me yeah it's okay sometimes to you can go past your due date and then the baby come you get the natural labor but sometimes because we ha i had passed the days with 12 days they said it was risky and i they needed to do a scan to see if the baby is okay and everything is fine so i i went to the for the scan no oh no the first thing they did they told me let's us go and do a ve a ve is a vaginal checkup where they do this they put their two hands you got the two fingers you know that thing that thing is very uncomfortable people told me it's painful but for me it was uncomfortable it was not painful at all so i went in and when the nurse went to check up whether my cervix is open or what is happening she came out with a blood the glove was full of blood she was shocked she was like what what is happening they didn't know because i was not in labor and i was not feeling any pain so her gloves was blood and then they started saying it's fresh blood and the, the cervix is closed so they were wondering where is the blood coming from so she took um whatever that machine they do it to angaria they checked with that to a torch they said it was my cervix which was bleeding like nilikuwa na cut i don't know from where or what happened that the cervix was hurt i was bleeding from there so to rule out any bleeding from if it was from the uterus or from my baby they asked me to go for a scan so i went for a scan uh the the scan showed nothing was abnormal everything was okay and the baby was fine the only thing is uh she the sonographer they called the sonographer the people who do the scan that thing uh alisema you are uterus inaanza kuzeeka uh not uterus i mean you are um, inaitwa ngwaje hiyo kitu inakuanga kwa mtoto inafunikia mtoto amniotic fluid or what do we call it i think yo yo kitu you I, i'll look for the words the, i think it's called the amniotic fluid it's inaanza kuzeeka is it yeah i guess that's what she said inaanza, uh, uh, because i was past my due date she was like no no we can't let you go home what we'll do we'll have to induce you because we can't wait any longer if ikizeeka zaidi it uh, cause to supply oxygen to your baby and what will happen your baby will die in the womb i was like ah, no i wanted to have my natural rebirth i don't want induction from the stories i had had induction in akwanga very painful i couldn't believe that i was going to have an induction i was like in denial i wanted to have to experience the eh, natural rebirth i was like no sister let me it's a catholic um, hospital I was told her, let me just uh, relax and wait. Then she told me, but you're not going home. You're not going to pass that gate. You're going to stay here and uh, ask your people from home to bring you whatever you need. The baby's clothes, because you have to carry the baby clothes and anything that you need. I had already packed my bag because I knew I was going in labor in any minute. So... I was in the now I was like no 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 me 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 and the in induction I was so much in the in the now I have a video after I called my sister and my friend to come over to the hospital to bring me stuff you'll see how I was in shock I couldn't I I had so much fear because of the stories I had had nilikuwa naambua labor new when you get induction it's very painful I would rather get um, natural ribbon but now here i was i didn't have a choice i had either to get induced or wait and my baby will be normal so i had to make a choice it was easy and quick so i decided to stay to hang around the hospital nikaongea na mama mwingine huko hospitali they were like no it's not bad the doctors assured me everything will go all right usisikize hizo stories za watu haikuangi hivyo they are telling you everyone is different and everyone experience their labor differently so mimi nikaka mpaka around 6 uh, so around 6 that's when my sister came and my friend 
they came and they were encouraging they told me to take it easy because i was tremoring i had so much fear i didn't know what to expect but i was so much afraid i was shivering i had turned okay i'm not light skinned and you, as you can tell but i had turned black i was like i had turned dark i was so dark because of the fear that i was experiencing so my sister came they encouraged me and then uh, around at around six i was called in by the doc i was so now you have to go to the maternity world i found two other girls they were also overdue and one was on this corner another one at the center and then and uh, myself i get i got the center bed and the other one on this other side so we were three of us who had passed our due date those studios are uh, okay the hospital i was in is either you will take a private room or you'll go to the general ward where you labor all of you together so you have that option but i didn't want to be alone so i may, i didn't have a private room so i was with the other ladies i they already had taken the medication you are given to start slavery so they were in pain so i was like oh my god this is what i'm going to go through the three it was only the three of us because the three of us in that room the rest had given birth and they were okay my baby is crying that's what i'm listening to he's in the house and i can hear him crying sorry about that Uh, okay, he's all right. I've checked on him and he's okay. I've given him someone to take care of him. So, though we were three of us. So the first lady had taken her pill. There is a capil they give you. Kasmol when unaeka apa kaulimi dio siju activate labor. So the first lady, the lady on my right, had already taken her, and uh, I I was supposed to be the next one, and then the other lady on my left. But Mimi, I delayed because I stayed outside with my sisters, talking, talking. They tried to assure me that all will be all right. My sister has a baby and my friend also has two babies, actually two. And she told me, and herself, she has undergone through induction. She told me it will be okay. I should just be strong and uh, accept things as they are. And whatever happens, this baby has to be delivered. So... Mimi ni kazi pengo tukaongea tukaongea hapo kwa bench and then they left so i was left alone the, the lady on my left she came before they left she came to call me and ananiambia unaitwa huko it's your turn to be given the medication i told her asawa nakuja sasa when i missed to be to go she went ahead of me sasa yeye akapewa kwanza so mimi nika when we, my sister left at around 6:37 hapo nikabaki so nikaenda huko ndani nikapewa those hospital gown ni kava kaambiwa sawa then the nurse i call i told the nurse i'm ready akaniambia sawa ngoja kidogo i'll call you so mimi nikaka hapo kwa bed um, i had my earphones and i was listening to music niko tu hapo then nika ikafika around 8 nikamuliza uh, daktari you told me to wait uh, what is happening akaniambia uh, you you just wait i'll call you when the time so i guess they were giving us space like the first lady had been given her pill at around uh, 530 i don't know it was 330 or 530 then the next one was given at around seven so they were spacing us so that we don't go to deliver all of us at the same time i guess that's my thinking i don't know so at around uh, eight is it eight around eight nine apple mimi nika ito nika if I'm all right, I'm ready to be given the pill. Nikaenda, nikalala kwa hiyo kakitanda. You know that kakitanda ka daktari. Nikalala, aka nini? Akaanza kunipima heartbeat, my pressure. Oh my God. Do you know guys what happened? 